So in this video, we are going to check on under or over absorption of ovoids. So remember, if you missed our previous video covering the absorption rate calculation, please check on the video uh, above. So under or over absorption of ovoids is calculated as. So the first thing you have to look at is overhead. The first thing, the overhead charged. What is the overhead charged? The overhead uh, charged will be given by uh, overhead absorption rate, overhead absorption, overhead absorption rate multiplied by the labor, uh, the labor hours, the labor hours worked. So by taking the overhead absorption rate times the labor hours worked this will give you the overhead charged then you will again will be forced to check on something called overhead overhead uh, in card overhead in card and this one you will be given in the question the overhead in card will be given in the question so where how will you know uh, whether it is over or underabsorbed? That means you'll be comparing these two: the overhead charged and the overhead. Then what the overhead uh, incurred? So for this uh, instance, when the overhead incurred is actually lower than the overhead charged, then that is an overabsorption, and when the overhead uh, in card is higher than the overhead charge that is an under absorption remember the same formula will apply while using the machine hours the thing that will be changing is this part here you will now be having overhead absorption rate times the machine hours if maybe the question will demand you to use the machine hours instead of the labor hours thank you for watching kindly follow us on youtube and subscribe to this channel